Hi guys, very welcome to Mentor, yet another video podcast. Uh, as you can hear, I have a little bit of a cold, so I apologize for that. But I'm going to try to keep my voice at least for the, uh, the duration of this podcast. So I'm out taking a walk on the beautiful Catalan countryside together with my family. And um, I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So I received a question a couple of days back from one of you viewers about... Um, be <laughs> about being a smoker and a pilot at the same time because uh, the the one who wrote the question had seen a couple of pilots out in London smoking heavily and the question naturally arises can you be a smoker when you're a pilot how does that work and that's a great question actually so I thought I'd cover that in this podcast um, Basically, if we look at it historically, if you go back to about the 70s and 80s, a lot of the pilots were smokers. Just as a lot of the doctors were smokers and lawyers and, uh, and basically everyone. Um, it was perfectly okay to smoke in the flight deck. Uh, that's why you can still see uh, ashtrays in the cockpit and on the toilets and things like that, even though it's been strictly forbidden for decades now. So that's the background. A lot of, a lot of pilots were smokers, okay? Uh, when I started about 13 years ago, um, there wasn't that many, but it was still a few pilots that were still smoking and that were smoking on the flight deck, okay? You might not believe it now, but it still happened. And um, most of those pilots, they, they seriously thought that, uh, that no one noticed when they were smoking, but obviously if you're smoking in any part of the cabin, someone will notice, the passengers will feel the smell and everything, so it quite quickly got known who was doing it and those were told to immediately stop it otherwise they would lose their employment. Right, so that brings me to the question can you be a smoker and be a pilot today? Well, um, to be perfectly honest I would say that it is a big pain in the ass to be a smoker and a pilot today. The reason for that is that not only are you not allowed, absolutely not allowed to smoke inside of the, the aircraft you're normally not even allowed to smoke inside of the airport, which means that um, you are going to have to leave the aircraft, leave the terminal building, and leave, go outside on the parking lot or to a designated smoking area and smoke there. So if you're working for an airline that is, um, uh, that is having very, very short turnaround times, uh, yeah, then you will not be able to smoke during your working days. So. That means that, in theory, you are going to have to be able to go from your first cigarette and then work for 12 hours or so until you can take your next cigarette. So my, my, uh, my advice for anyone who's smoking and who is getting into this business is try to stop doing that as quickly as possible. So that's one reason, because it's just not practical. It's very, very hard to do. The second reason is, for obvious reasons, a health issue. So. The pilot occupation in itself is not a very healthy occupation because you're sitting down a lot and even when you're flying pressurized aircraft like the 737, the pressure altitude inside of the cabin is still going to be up and around 8,000 feet. So if you're a smoker, um, your physiology is affected by that, which means that you are less, your lungs have less capacity, your blood has less capacity to, to take up oxygen. So you will be more affected by the pressure altitude than someone who's not smoking. So I would strongly advise against smoking and uh, being a pilot because it's A, really unpractical, B, not good at all for your health. And when it comes to other health aspects, we, I'm going to talk more about this in coming videos, but you're going to need to take care of yourself. Like you're going to need to, to regularly exercise, go to the gym, eat healthy, uh, avoid eating shit on the flight deck because it's very, very easy. Like one of my viewers was saying, well, if I'm bored, I'm just going to eat. And it's true. A lot of people do that. A lot of people spend time in the flight deck just eating snacks or whatever. You very, very quickly um, develop a, a weight problem if you do that. So, so my advice, just to summarize it all, is if you're a smoker and you're thinking about getting into the uh, to the aviation business, then try to at least reduce the amount you're smoking. But to be honest, try just quitting altogether. It's just not worth it. It's going to take up a lot of your time to try to get that precious cigarette. And it's not good for you and it's not going to be an easy task for you maintaining your smoking habits. So if I were you, 
I would just quit it altogether. So that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions on this, just feel free to tell me. And uh, I will be continuing my walk here on the absolutely fantastic Catalan countryside. I hope you're all doing fantastic and I'll see you next time. Remember to share this video with your friends and uh, to, um, to keep asking me questions, other questions related. It can be practical questions and can be uh, questions about life as a pilot, anything. And I will do my best to try to answer them. Thank you.